Hello students, I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics. In this video, I'll tell you a story about a problem that came up in the ISI BSTAT BMAT entrance in 2025. Now, to solve this problem, you really don't have to work really hard. But once you solve this problem, then you might wonder what story does this problem say? And there we can learn a lot. So let's look at the problem. It says that we have a function uh, f from a to b. f is a function from a to b. a is a set, b is a set. And what kind of set is that? Well, a contains all the points x and y such that x comma y is between 0 and 1. So if I draw a, so let's let's draw a, I'll draw x-axis and y-axis and I'll take 0, 1, this is along the x-axis and 0, 1, this is along the y-axis. Then this square with the boundaries is the domain of the function. See what it says? It says that a is contained, or contained of x comma y says that x is between 0 and 1 and y is between 0 and 1. So this is the domain of the function. Now what is the co-domain of the function? Well, it talks about the set B which is the co-domain. And what is the co-domain? It contains all x, y coordinate says that x is between 0 and 2 and y is between 0 and 2. So really it's a bigger box. So if I just draw x axis and y axis so this is again 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 1, this is 2. So this box, this bigger box is the co-domain of the function. Okay, so that's great. So there's a function taking points from this xy plane to this xy plane. So this is a multivariable function. Okay, that's great. Now how do we compute the function so if you take x comma y as the input value so some x comma y from here then what you do is you would calculate x square plus y comma x plus y square whatever that number is that is that coordinate is that is the output value so you can use some examples to understand what's going on. For example, what if x is 0 0.6 and y is 0 0.7? If I take these two as the input coordinates and the output coordinates will be 0 0.6 square plus 0 0.7 and comma 0 0.6 plus 0 0.7 square. So you can calculate this and get the output point. The question is this, is this function one on one is this function on two so I'll explain what that means but here is the question is this function one on one is this function on two what does one on one mean so let's look at the diagram and understand the question is are there two points maybe these two points which are mapping to the same point if that happens if two points map to the same point then it's not a one-on-one -on -one function. What is on to? Can you find a point in the codomain, maybe here or here? Can you find a point in the codomain to which no arrow is coming? That is, no input coordinate would produce that output point. If that happens, then the function is not on to. And we can solve this problem really easily because we can find counter examples for both cases. Let's take the input point 1 comma 0 this one this is 1 comma 0 and let's take the output input point 0 comma 1 in both cases 1 comma 0 maps to 1 square plus 0 comma 1 plus 0 square which is 1 comma 1 and 0 comma 1 also matches maps to 0 square plus 1 comma 0 plus 1 square which is again 1 comma 1 so 1 comma 0 and 0 comma 1 both of these points map to 0 comma 0 so the function is not one on one now why the function is not on to so not no because 1 comma 0 so and 0 comma 1 maps to 1 comma 1 
So we found a counter example. Similarly, why is it not on to? Well, because if you take the output point 2 comma 0, possible output point, this is a point in the codomain. Is there some input that goes to that point? Is there an input point that goes to that point? Oh, what about 0 comma 2? Well, let's look at 2 comma 0. If x square plus y is equals to 2 and x plus y square equals to 0 and x is between 0 and 1, x is y is also between 0 and 1, we now know that x plus y squared is 0. That means both x is equal to 0 or y is equal to and y is equal to 0. Because if one of them is positive and they can only be positive, they cannot be negative because x and y both are between 0 and 1. If one of them is positive, then x plus y square will become positive. So from the second equation, we conclude that x equal to 0, y equals to 0. But if that is true, then the first equation does not hold ground. 0 square plus 0 is not 2. So there is no point in the input space that goes to 2 comma 0. 2 comma 0 is in the codomain. So the function is not on 2. But now the question is this. Can you really understand the function if you are curious? So here is a technique to understand functions which are like two variable functions. This technique can be used in other problems as well. What is the technique? So let me draw the picture one more time. This is the domain x axis, y axis. This is 0 comma 0. This is 1 comma 0. And this is 0 comma 1. And we have a square like this and the question is how does this square map into the output space so sometimes what we can do since two dime the input is two dimensional and the output is two dimensional so it's a four dimensional space if you really wanted to draw the picture of the function you cannot do that you don't have a four dimensional space to draw human intuition kind of fails there so what is the other strategy the other strategy is to draw level sets in some sense. So I will give you an example of how that works in this particular case. What you do is that you take one line, you fix one of the coordinates. So suppose if I fix x equal to 0, then my input is just this line, line segment. My question is, where will the output go? What is the output of this line segment? If I just wanted to map this line segment from 0, 0 to 0, 1, making x fixed, that is 0. Well, let's do that. Let's see what happens. We know that xy goes to x square plus y, comma x plus y square. Now we know x is 0. So 0, comma y goes to y, comma y square because both x and x square are 0. Now, what is the image of y comma y square? Well, if I draw this picture in the output space, let's draw it carefully. We know that this is 0 comma 0, this is 1 comma 0, this is 2 comma 0, and this is 0 comma 1, this is 0 comma 2, and the output space is this big box. That's the codomain. That's your set B. This is your set A. So I am saying that Y is ranging between 0 and 1. What is the picture of Y comma Y square? T comma T square. It's a parabola, right? So it's a parabola which is going from 0 comma 0 to 1 comma 1. As Y goes from 0 comma 0, Y goes from 0 to 1. Y comma Y square goes from 0 comma 0 to 0, 1, 1. So here is the picture. If I draw it carefully, this is 1, 1 and the picture is like this. It's a parabola. Just this particular piece is now mapped to a parabola. Now think. See, we are learning how to think, right? Now think. What if I change x a little bit? What if I change x a little bit? What happens? Maybe x is equal to 0 0.5. This line segment is x is equal to 0 0.5 what happens there okay let's do that so this is x comma y goes to x square plus y comma x plus y square now we have x is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 comma y goes to 
0.5 square plus y comma 0.5 comma y square plus y square so now that we have this this is 0.25 comma y plus y comma 0.5 plus y square can any of you tell me what would be the image of this particular line segment and as a final follow up can you try to find out each strands image and draw the entire range of this function i hope you learned something from this video remember we do beautiful problems because we want to learn more mathematics just having the answer is not enough okay all right thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one if you like this sort of videos consider subscribing if you are interested in mathematical olympiads physics computer science research in school check the link in the description for more details